training tool. Um, when someone has their full faculties and is being not just uncooperative or, 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 or active resistant, but assaultive, I wouldn't recommend attempting a control technique with a baton until you've, you've created that window of opportunity. And sometimes that window of opportunity, or more often than that, not, that's going to mean striking the person, um, causing some, uh, whether it's a distraction or some actual injury. And then when that opportunity is there, taking advantage of it and going for that control hold. Yeah. So, um, for, ex for example, if someone was out here and they were really ballistic, I would more than likely try and hit first, try and hit the hand, try and hit the arm first. And then when I've found that there's an opportunity, maybe I've weakened them a little bit, and we'll just, for, just for argument's sake, we're just gonna say he's gonna present the right hand in the, in the form of, a, of a, uh, a, right, a right cross type of emotion. So I would come to the outside of that and bring my weapon inside the arm. So it's, it's, all I'm doing is I'm moving here to the outside of the motion and then bringing the weapon inside there. If he was holding his arm in pain like I, just, like I just struck his arm and wasn't actually punching, then I could be doing the same thing by just coming through to this position here. Okay. If he was grabbing you, he's coming for a grab. It's exactly the same thing. I'm just bringing the arm weapon, weapon right here to this position. Okay. So, uh, so how you uh, uh, get into the technique can be in, come in various shapes or forms, but um, the technique is essentially coming to these, the outside of his arm and I can be up here or I could be down here, closer to the wrist. Either way it's going to work because you're going to put a lot of pressure with that, with that baton once you get there. And from there I come under to this position right there. Can you, uh, is there, can you struggle, Josh? Okay. So, I mean, wait, you tap pretty quick. Not so a lot of struggle. This, and especially when I'm on the forearm because, and in, in, in for comfort, I, you, you rotated your arm there, which is a natural thing to do. If I'm able to get it here, there's nerves that run through the top, the, 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 the radial nerves run through that ridge of the forearm there. And so if you're able to catch it there, it's going to be even harder to struggle, but even as it turns to whatever position, it's still going to hurt. So he can't just pull out, I feel like it looks like he can just pull his well, hand away. Well, so this is what I'm doing. If I keep this line straight, then right. he might be able to pull straight out. Okay. So what I do is I drop his elbow like that. And now he's, he can only pull down, but I want him to go down. Once we get to a certain point, then I need to get him to a position where I can actually control him and put cuffs on him, right? So from here, I'll pivot. I step in with my left foot and pivot my right foot around and bring him around to the ground. Using my knee to control that shoulder and bring it to the ground, okay? From here, if I've got the compliance that I need, I'll transition to here and bring my shoulder to the, to the, uh, to the I'm sorry, my knee to the shoulder. And typically, protocol, would go through steps for new officers. Cross your ankles for me, cross your ankles. And then from this position, if I feel I've got, I've got some, some control, I can put my baton away and start going for my handcuffs, handcuffing procedure.